Hang on, guys. I can get it. Hope you guys are having fun. There's 3,400 people. That's a good sign. You know, numbers don't lie. If people want to stick around, uh, we're going to we're gonna keep diving down and, and getting into some pretty interesting stuff. And, and one of the reasons I, I love talking about this stuff is because it helps people beat it. And that's, that's really the value and stuff. All right, so I posted this last night. And um, let me read exactly what I wrote. And again, like, you got to understand, I'm not, like, I'm not as compulsive as I appear sometimes. Like, I, I can be compulsive. I, I know that. But, like, uh, it's not that I, like, can't stop scratching the itch. Ah, damn it. I just, my phone just died. Uh, I, I, I'm trying, like, I know we didn't go to the moon and I'm watching people so trans, so hypnotized by this that repetition is actually working like engineers, you know, military people, people that called me an idiot are now like, man, like this one guy was like, now I don't know about my grandfather. He's a NASA engineer. And I'm like, dude, your grandfather was most likely an honorable, awesome dude. He probably had no idea what it was. He probably did unbelievable math. And there's a really good chance that led to like, inventions and great things. I can't stand that my opinion on this or my desire to point out a psychological operation, hey, Walter, Walter, <laughs> hurts people's feelings when it comes to how they view um, America or their families or stuff because it doesn't have to. NASA isn't America. NASA was run by SS Nazis, like Operation Paperclip. It, the, the truth is crazier than you can possibly imagine with fiction, right? Um, most NASA people weren't involved. Like, they had, would have no idea. Think about how many secrets and how many things um, happen and people have no idea. And they're just innocently doing work and they're smart and they're brave and they take pride in it. And it's not that these employees and these engineers and these brave people were liars and astronauts and all these people like I can't stand that my opinion makes people like uh, you know like good people I don't care what, what when people are like you're an idiot conspiracy nut job I love watching you, you fail and spiral like those people I don't care if I hurt their feelings but like you know when people are like man I just don't want to think my grandpa's a liar I'm like he's not a liar like odds are 99.9% .9 that your grandfather died thinking that he did calculations to get men to the moon to beat the Russians. And God bless that. But I did this meme where it says, if you feel your setup is too slow, remember NASA landed on a moon using four kilobytes of RAM. Okay, that kind of like the Cosby meme. Remember when Cosby did that meme like, you know, caption this and everyone was like, you're a rapist. <laughs> and it, it like it's like when social media goes wrong. So NASA has this pathology of bragging about how little technology they had. You know, they're like, they're like, you know, NASA had less technology than an iPhone. I bet you feel pretty stupid complaining now. And then it's like, okay, so where's the technology to go back to the moon? And, and that astronaut's like, hey, I, I kind of just have to show it. it. It's just too funny. And throughout my entire uh, dismantling of their of their narrative, you gotta understand I'm only quoting them. Like that's why it's it's so legitimate because I'm only quoting them. I'm just saying what they said. Uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna waste your time with this one. Oh wait a minute, here we go. That's uh, racing moves, moon landing tapes, got an Allen belt, uh, exposing. Where's all this? Man, I I I want to stay on on track here. But it's so much better when you get to just see it. Uh, I'll just explain it, though. I mean, most of you guys have already seen it, but some of you guys. we got some new people. Hit the like button, subscribe, hit the alert button. Uh, come on. It makes it so much more fun. Uh, moon, 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 the moon. All right, it's all good. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna say, what's up, Aim? Good dinner? You can say hi. Are you guys good? You good? Walter! Walter! So, this net, one of the, the, the most, 
respected astronauts that's been there the longest. Uh, this guy, he was asked, so why don't we go back to the moon? He's like, well, we, we had the technology, but we destroyed it and it's too painful to rebuild. And, <laughs> and they erased all their, their telemetry data, all of it, right? They had no technology. They were doing it with pencils and paper. And of course, and by, by the way, I, I'm going to give a Bill Whittle an apology because my friend just had dinner with Bill Whittle and, and I was like calling him a dickhead or something because his whole narrative was like, you know, back in the 60s, America actually worked hard and could actually finish a mission. And now everyone's so lazy and stupid. It's like, no, Bill Whittle. But my friend said he really does believe that. And he wasn't just trying to appeal to his base. And he's like a stubborn, good-hearted guy. So maybe I judge him too fast. But anyway, uh, so with it, they destroyed the technology. They erased all the tapes, right? And I'm going to say this, the whole narrative one more time, because this time it might actually work. I was talking with, with like legitimate people that thought I was insane yesterday to the point where they're like, dude, I can't believe we might have not went to the moon. So, so with, with less technology than a wristwatch, they send people to the moon. And let's not talk about the Van Allen belt. Let's not talk about, you know, shooting from the moon. Let's not talk about any technical thing. I don't require any of that information or any of those points. Let's talk about things that no one can say, oh, well, you know, experts. Because even though I'm quoting NASA, it, it, I, I don't require any of that, okay? So in the heart of the Cold War, you know, us and Russia, neck and neck. Russia's ahead, we're ahead. Russia's ahead, we're ahead. Stakes couldn't be higher. You know, the red, the red scare, communism, death to the West is spreading. We have to beat these people. I totally get it, right? And we're pushing, we're pushing. When people are like, it would have been cheaper if we just faked it. Why did we spend all the money? Because I'm sure at first we didn't know we couldn't go for whatever reason. So anyway, we're pushing, we're pushing. You know, Kenny's like, we will go to the moon. And uh, and so we we get there. This is the narrative, right? This is what they want us to believe. So we get there. One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Right, we plant the flag. United States of America, this this moon, you know, this is our moon, right? So they want people to believe at that point, Russia just stopped trying. In 1968, once America landed, and then America went back until 1973, never went back again. No other countries ever went back. Russia never went back. That contradicts everything you know about everything. What other time in the history of exploring has one country planted a flag and their fiercest rival who desperately, who believed the whole time that we faked it, really, really wanted to go to the moon and see if like we really had the, the, the flag there. And they just bailed on all of it. And then 50 years pass, no interest to ever go back. China, no interest ever. They never went there. India, now. Israel, now. Iran, England, Greenland, Canada, n n none. No, no one ever went back, right? So, so on what, this is why it's so obvious once you're out of the spell. Name one other time that that's possible. And when you start seeing people living two realities, like a broken mind, right? When they're like, well, there's no reason to go to the moon. I mean, it's just a dusty old sack of shit. <laughs> and you're like, but people said it was the greatest accomplishment in the history of humanity. That going to the moon was the greatest accomplishment of mankind's history. And they're like, yeah, it was. Nothing was more impressive or great than going to the moon. It's like, so why did no one else go? Because why the hell would anyone go to the moon? And you're watching these people. And these are smart people. This is how powerful mind control is, right? Mind control is so powerful that these people are, are some, some, all right, these are people higher IQ than me, you know, nuclear physicists you know, generals in the Air Force. These are people that follow me and will like, I'll email back and forth and stuff. And they're like, this one engineer yesterday, we're going back and forth. And he's like, well, the engineering is actually quite easy because he thought my whole angle was that, you know, that, that, that just that ridiculous looking nonsense machine uh, flew through radiation and deep space and all that. And so his immediate, you know, argument was like the, the engineering is not that hard you know i'm an i'm an engineer you're not an engineer so you have to trust us on this the engineering is not that hard so i'm like if it's not hard 
why why don't we have the technology uh, to go back? And he's like, well, we could. It's just really expensive and it's it's very dangerous. So I'm like, okay, well, if it's easy, how is it also hard and dangerous and expensive? Like, we didn't have we, ju we just got the digital wristwatch. We now can have. Uh, you know, altered reality universes and things we put in our eyeballs. So it was easier then? He's like, no, I mean, you, you don't understand the engineering behind it. I'm like, I don't need to understand the engineering behind it. Why has no one gone back? It's like, well, we don't have a desire to go back. It's like Ronald Reagan, Bill Clinton, George H.W. Bush, George W. Bush, and Barack Obama all promised to go to the moon and they all canceled. The moon blew everyone's mind. Why is no billionaire eccentric adventurer gone to the moon? Why did Elon Musk cancel his space program on the moon? Why are we focused on Mars and not the moon? Why has no one colonized the moon? Why don't we have um, anything else on the moon? Why don't we have very expensive tourism on the moon? Why don't we shoot a rock concert on the moon? Why is the guy, you know, the, the guy who's obsessed with Titanic, who's always in the... In the, in the sub in the deep ocean, why doesn't he want to go to the moon? Why does no one give a fuck about the moon? And at this point, their brains aren't working properly. They're like, well, I mean, it's just, uh, it's, no, the engineering, it's like America. And I'm like, dude, I'm not anti-American. Like, I, I get that you're patriotic. It's, it's the most patriotic thing you can do is question your fucking government. We didn't go. And then I was like, this other guy... I was like, okay, the moon, he's like, well, the moon rocks, you know, all, all the scientists, as soon as someone starts talking about scientific consensus and they treat me like I'm so dumb, I know what I'm not good at. I'm not going to argue with people about, you know, specific rocket shit, but it's like the phrase scientific consensus is an oxymoron. The, the nature of science is to question all the time. It, the, the way science should work, it's almost like idea capitalism. It's just constant questioning, skepticism, trying to dismantle someone else, getting a better uh, model, just constant. You know, hundreds of years can pass on an idea and someone can finally disprove it. You know, we didn't get germ theory till the 19th century, right? So the idea that science is settled is a lie. And there's a point to this, by the way. This is all has to do with mind control. This all has to do with psyops, right? And I hope right now, even people that think I'm like crazy and this is such bullshit, you got to tingle in your, in your spine a little bit now because I've repeated it enough because that's something that is necessary to break spells. Why did Russia never go? Why did America never go? Why, why, why? All I'm talking about is the motivation of nations. That contradicts everything you know about nations. There's, what, 27 countries right now planting flags in Antarctica, working out deals and all this shit with a bunch of ice. And people are like, whoa, there could be fossil fuels in, in Antarctica. It's the moon. And so the moon rocks, right? So Neil Armstrong, um, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin, they give Holland, they give Holland a moon rock, you know, as a, a nice act. And the moon rock, and by the way, I have, I have the, 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 the nail in the coffin in a second. Just wait. And it all has to do with what I'm talking about. The moon rock that we give Holland turns out to be petrified wood. Right. And of course, there's already a, a another reality narrative. There's already news stories that say some other guy lost his petrified wood, you know, whatever it is. Uh, you, you barely need to even try to get people to be like, oh, that makes total sense. Just don't just, you know, I, I'm not I don't want to be ashamed or humiliated. I don't want to look stupid. Please don't let me look stupid. I don't give a fuck if I look stupid. I will take people telling me I'm an idiot or I'm a racist or I'm a full of hate. Or I'm like, you know, a moron and my wife's going to leave me and I should kill myself. And I'll, I've got it my whole life. It's like, I don't give a shit. That doesn't affect me. That's why I have value. And, <laughs> and so, petrified wood, right? Now, all the other moon rocks, like the moon rocks, they have traces of brass and a type of uranium isotope that comes after nuclear fission that's found all over the earth. You know, there's certain things that once nuclear bombs went off, there's like tiny, tiny traces of like somewhat radioactive something throughout all the stuff in earth, right? So the moon rocks 
have brass, titanium, and this weird isotope. Those are man-made elements. How is How would you possibly explain that? And so this is when things get dicey. That, that's when people will go towards aliens. They say, well, we never left the moon. It's all been secretive. We have all this uh, black ops money. That's where all the trillions have gone from the... Uh, and that very well could be true. There's just no evidence for it. And I'm not actually drawn to conspiracy theories. I'm drawn to truth. And, I, and I'm obsessed with uh, killing wizards intellectually. So, so now you have a rock that has man-made elements in it. It's not from another world. The, 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 easiest, so the easiest answer is it's from Earth. So no human being, no corporation, no country acted the way they normally act when it comes to the moon landing. We never went back. The MIT tapes say that there's, they never bring up the Van Allen belt. They never bring up any kind of, of shielding they need for radiation because they didn't know it existed yet. Um, NASA gets $24 billion a year currently. There's no private or governmental uh, programs to go to the moon, even though it would make a lot of money. They deleted all of the uh, data that proved we went to the moon because they said they had a budgetary problem in the 70s and had to uh, tape over the tapes. And uh, we no longer have the technology to go to the moon, even though the wristwatch had not yet been invented fully digitally. Now, that isn't true, okay? So why do people smarter than me, more accomplished than me, braver than me, more patriotic than me, why do they believe that? because they desperately don't want to look foolish. And one thing that scares the shit out of people is the thought that everything's a lie. Or like, why would someone lie? If someone lied about the moon landing, is my dick real? Are my shoes real? Like, it, 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 it spirals you. And so that is a psychological operation. That is a way to keep people in a constant state of confusion so no one says, hey, what happened to that Vegas shooter? Hey, why do all these kids keep going missing? Hey, why does Hillary Clinton and John Podesta have these weird hot tub rendezvous with like all this pizza language? If you are in a state of, you know, knees weak, mom's spaghetti, you know, if you're always like a little worried and we're now getting constant trauma, CNN is 24 hours a day, scare the shit out of you as much as possible. The world was not always like this. When I was a kid, we would get scared by um, like nurse, like uh, children's stories, by like the Brothers Grimm and stuff. And there were always there was always a reason, like don't go in the don't go in the woods or you'll get eaten by a wolf or something. Now it's like your president is a Russian spy. Ebola is going to kill your family. You know the hurricanes are because the Earth is becoming too hot to survive. You will all die. It's all day long. You know, everyone's a rapist. You know, it, it's just, this keeps people traumatized. This is how you create uh, uh, mind control.